The MVP race this year is very interesting because there's a clear best player in the NBA, but he most likely will not win the MVP this season because of one stupid narrative. Now, the clear best player in the NBA is Nikola Jokic. Why do I think he's a clear best player? Well, first of all, per 75 shows rate, and at that rate, he scores at the highest rate, he rebounds at the highest rate, he assists at the highest rate, and he's the most efficient at that rate. This is the most efficient volume scorer in the NBA that's a superstar. And I mean, he's doing it while seeing some of the best defensive coverage in the league. Nikola Jokic this year has some of the worst help in the league. You don't have to look much farther from his plus minus. His net swing right now is 31.1. You know, on the court, Nikola Jokic, his team is like a plus 16, which is the best offense in NBA history. And off the court, they are a negative 14 which is like about the worst offense in NBA history. Nikola Jokic right now is having a phenomenal season, but what is really hindering him and his ability to win this MVP is his teammates. Because nobody in the right mind will tell you that Nikola Jokic is not doing enough because he's doing more than enough, but his team is just so bad. Now, when we can look at all the injuries, you know, Jamal Murray ACL tear, Michael Porter Jr. back injury, Will Barton sickness. We missed an another group of role players too with PJ Dozier tearing his ACL, who is actually pretty important to this team and people really undervalue him. But today I'm gonna tell you why Nikola Jokic is the most valuable player in the NBA, despite probably not being the MVP. Let's get into it. It's beyond stupid that we frame this as a two man race. Like Nikola Jokic is averaging 26.5, stop. 26.5 points, 14 rebounds, 7 assists, 58% shooting, 66% on twos. Pick whatever advanced stat you want. Pick any advanced stat you want. Stop, stop. Any advanced stat you want. Yeah, he, get leads, fired up, Zach. he leads the NBA in every single one. He's on pace for the highest hey. play. Stop. He's on pace for the highest player efficiency rating ever. So before I get into the advanced stats, a lot of people are going to say, oh, advanced stats, they're so stupid. Well, yeah, you're like 45 and have three kids, but nah. Besides that, bro, advanced stats do show production. That is one thing we need to look at. People with the best advanced stats in the NBA are the most productive players in the NBA. When LeBron James was the best player in the NBA for about like a 10 year stretch or something like that, he always had the best advanced stats. And the people below him would be superstars. And the people below that would then be all stars. It doesn't ever come to a rate to where a role player is having advanced stats like Nikola Jokic or Stephen Curry. But nonetheless, Nikola Jokic leads all MPB candidates in box plus minus, estimated plus minus, Raptor rating, net rating swing, win probability added, win shares per 48, game score per 36, and player impact estimate. Now that right there, he is leading in 10 of the 13 significant advanced stats. That is amazing and that is also groundbreaking. That's the reason why he won the MVP last year. You know, Steph Curry fans love to say, oh, well, Steph Curry is finally winning games this year. Now he's gonna win MVP. When in reality, Stephen Curry was not better than Nikola Jokic last year and the advanced stats backed it up. Nikola Jokic won the MVP last year because sure, he had his team in, his good, in a good place, but to have Nikola Jokic carry these horrible teams with horrible depth is, you know, it's slave labor. And Stephen Curry this year has the benefit of the doubt that he has a lot of depth. And people really need to stop looking besides that. Now, out of all the MVPs, by the way, all the MVP candidates right now, Kevin Durant doesn't lead in one single advanced stat. He scores at the third lowest rate. And also, I mean, he's efficient. He's, a, he's the second most efficient guy there, but the advanced stats don't back it up. Now, that is not me saying that Kevin Durant shouldn't win MVP, but he shouldn't win MVP. I don't think he should win MVP. Sure, you got a good record and you're somewhat consistent. Kevin Durant, bro, like, I understand his offense impact is great, but Nikola Jokic's offense impact this year has been so clear, it is, it is pretty scary. Now, let's look at the other MVP candidates. Stephen Curry and Giannis Antetokounmpo. First of all, Giannis Antetokounmpo is by far the worst scorer here and the worst offensive player. Now, that's no slight to Giannis Antetokounmpo, and it's not bag in which I'm talking about. I'm talking about efficiency and in the rate which he scores. He is the least efficient player here with a 60.1% true shooting percentage, which is just about like 4.5 above league average. You cannot give that MVP to somebody over somebody who's averaging over 11% over league average true shooting percentage. That's just stupid. He is a lot less efficient, and he's scoring less points than Nikola Jokic at the same rate. The reason why I don't think he'll win is obviously 
maybe you can say voter fatigue, but Giannis just simply isn't a top three player in the NBA this year. I don't know what's so hard to understand. You can make an argument that he is top three because Stephen Curry has been very, you know, streaky. But even then, LeBron deserves to be in that discussion as well as he's, as he's having a great season, um, especially at his age too. That'll favor him. Uh, that'll favor him in the narrative. And then Stephen Curry. To me, why Stephen Curry isn't the MVP is because he doesn't bring enough impact. Stephen Curry does bring great impact. In the end of the day, this is the best point guard of all time, and he's a very efficient, which a lot of people call him the most efficient scorer ever. I don't know if I go that far, but he's a very efficient scorer. However, though, he has had some very bad games, and he's been in a slump the last five games, averaging like 23 points a game on like league average true shooting percentage, and his team has not taken a hit from it. MVP shows value in Stephen Curry as he is very valuable because he is top three player in the league when he is healthy. He has just not been valuable enough this year. So when you look at the MVP candidates, first of all, Kevin Durant doesn't have the advanced stats to back up what he's doing. He's been very efficient, but not as efficient as the guy who's scoring at a higher rate and a much more efficient clip than him. Stephen Curry, streaky games, you know. Stephen Curry is not a bad scorer by any means, but those games where he is a bad scorer, I mean, the, the Warriors don't see much negative impact. And the games which Steph Curry had his worst games this season, they're like 4-1 and one in them. And then Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis Antetokounmpo is by far the worst offensive player here and has brought the least to his offense. Barely above average on efficiency. Or, you know, plus 4.5 is not bad when it comes to efficiency. But when it comes to superstars, that is barely above average. Nikola Jokic this year has been easily the best passer in the league. He has been the best rebounder in the league. You could probably make an argument versus him or Rudy Gobert. But at the rate, I mean, he does rebound at a higher rate than Rudy Gobert does. Jokic is the most efficient scorer in the league. He is the best scorer in the league this year. We need to not undermine that just because Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry exist and because they've been the best scorers in years past. Jokic also has the highest IQ in the league. His crunch time ability to make the right play is something like peak LeBron. And Jokic, in general, has been flawless this season. The best playmaker, the best passer, the best rebounder, the most efficient scorer, the highest IQ player, he should be the MVP. Now look, I understand, oh, the Nuggets are in the AC right now. That's going to change. Let's look at the teams above Denver, and let's see the ones that they can't beat out. Right now, they're behind Dallas, which they're not even a game behind them. They just need a win. They're, they're like two games behind. They're one and a half games behind the Lakers. They can definitely make that up and they're one and a half games behind the Clippers. Now the Memphis Grizzlies have been rolling at a very unsustainable rate to me because they don't have their lead floor general, so I think they can beat them out too. If you take Nikola Jokic to the four seed, without Jamal Murray, without Michael Porter Jr., without PJ Dozier, without very integral role players, while having the best advanced stats in the league, some of the best advanced stats of all time, the most efficient scoring center since Shaq, and he's actually been more efficient than Shaq this year, then Nikola Jokic should be no doubt the MVP. If Nikola Jokic creeps up to the four seed, I think he's de she, he should definitely be the MVP. And if the best player in the NBA gets the top four seed in the West with all these injuries, the narrative should drive it up. Now look, voter fatigue is somehow going to happen because people don't like it when Nikola Jokic is the best player in the league. Last year, Nikola Jokic was arguably not the best player in the league, and they voted him for MVP. But now the year in which he is definitely the best player in the league, they're going to vote him as not the MVP despite him probably finishing the season with a really good record and a top four seed in the West, that's stupid. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, do all that, and I'll see y'all next time. Hey, come on, I got a bag on me. You try to take it, leave you stankin' like your last homie. She kinda cakey, little baby, put that ass on me. But I ain't that horny, do you got some cash for me? Why every time you ask him that, bitch, is act funny. And you keep trying to hold the strap, you won't slap for me. You too happy, I can tell you never had money. Every time you get on live, got a flash money.